What's going on? In this video, I'm going to give you 21 immediately useful guitar tips so that you can come out of this video a better guitar player. I'm going to try and make these as practical and easy as follow so you can improve right now. Let's get started with tip number one. The G chord can often be a really tough chord for beginners. A way to make this a lot easier is to play the two finger G chord instead. So to do this, it's the same setup as the normal G chord, but then you take off your first finger and then you mute the fifth string with the second finger, which should be really easy to do. Then you just play all six strings. It sounds almost the same as the full G chord and is way easier to do. People will often also teach the four finger G chord, which is just unnecessary at the beginning. The two finger G chord is a perfect substitute for any time you're playing the chord. Beginner guitarists often have a difficult time playing in time. The easiest way to do this is to do a constant down up motion with your strumming hand. One and two and three and four and, no matter what the strumming pattern is, and then you just hit or miss the strings based on what the strumming pattern is. As soon as your hand stops moving, that's usually when you lose the rhythm or the groove. So for example, if I'm doing a one, two and three, four and strumming pattern, I'm gonna play like this. One, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and. So you can see that the entire time my hand's moving in a constant motion, I'm just hitting or missing the strings depending on whether I'm supposed to play. If you find you've got a lot of finger pain and it feels really hard to press down your chords, there's a good chance it's not you, it's actually a guitar setup. Especially if you're playing on a cheap guitar, expensive guitars usually won't have this problem. The problem is likely with your guitar action, which is the distance between your strings and the fretboard. If there's more than about two picks worth of space between there, your action is too high and you're gonna to wanna to either try the repair yourself by searching a YouTube video or go to your local guitar store. It's usually a pretty cheap fix. Some places will actually even do it for free. So go and get your action fixed. It's gonna make it a lot easier to play chords and make you sound better as a guitarist. If you wanna change chords faster, a great way to do this is to use anchor fingers. Anchor fingers are fingers that don't need to move when you switch from one chord to the next. An easy example of this is from C to A minor. Your first and second finger can stay in their place and the only thing that needs to move is this third finger. The first and second finger stay anchored to the fretboard. A second example is from A to D. That's often a tough switch, but if you use this first finger and keep it in the same place, you can use that as an anchor and rotate your other fingers around that. One final example is when you have G and D beside each other in a song. That's when I like to use the four finger G chord because this third finger can stay in its exact place and then you can just use that to anchor and rotate around to switch between this chord. This third finger doesn't need to move. So if you wanna change chords faster, look for anchor notes in your chords. If you're struggling with timing and rhythm, here's a great and fun way to improve it. Just put on your favorite songs on your headphones, listen and try and count along out loud with the song. You're gonna to wanna to follow along with the drums because that's gonna be what's driving the rhythm. A great way to find the one beat is immediately when it switches from one section to the next. So when you switch from the verse to the chorus, the one beat is usually gonna be at the very start of the chorus. A good thing is to try listening for the snare. The snare drum usually falls on beat two and four and is pretty consistent in a lot of songs. If you find you do this for a bunch of songs, then when you go back to playing your guitar, you're gonna find you have a lot better rhythm just naturally. If you want a way to make a ton of progress on guitar in a short period of time, check out my 14 day chord challenge in the description of this video. It's gonna get you fast, clear chords and really improve your strumming so that you start to sound like a real musician. Check it out in the description of this video. If you want to stop sounding like a beginner when you play guitar, a great way to do this is to add dynamics to your playing. Dynamics are just playing certain parts louder or softer, depending on how the song is progressing. Doing this will naturally add a lot more emotion to your playing. Here are some rules to follow. First, the verse is usually the quietest, calmest part, and the choruses are usually bigger and fuller and grander. So you want to match that with your playing. A great way to do this is to listen to the song that you're trying to play and note the points where it's smaller and quieter and simpler or bigger and grander or louder, and try and match that with your guitar playing. A simple way to make specific strumming patterns sound more interesting is to play the first beat a little bit louder than the rest. Here's an example so you can hear it. Nobody's hands are too small or too big for guitar. They just need to be stretched properly. Everybody's got a tough time not buzzing and stretching to reach the notes at the beginning. An easy way to do this to make instant improvements is to just give your hands a little stretch, just like any other muscle group. Start by rubbing gently in between each of the finger bones in between each of your fingers. Then give each finger a gentle press back, not too strong, just a gentle stretch is all you need, and then end off by stretching them sideways. Go through all these, 
your hands will be instantly faster and easier and better able to reach the far fronts. If you're a beginner who's struggling with picking, often a big cause of this is you're picking outward or way too far away from the guitar. Focus on having small, accurate picking motions and that's gonna make it a lot easier to pick fast and accurately. A great practice for this is when you're picking, focus on ending your pick with it resting on the next string below that. That's gonna work on having small and accurate motions, which is gonna help you play faster and smoother than ever. As a beginner, you wanna focus on playing with your fingertips as much as humanly possible. If you've got buzzy notes or muting notes or chords, then often not playing enough on your fingertips is the cause of this. So you wanna make sure you're right on the very tip of your finger, a nicely curled hand, and then that's gonna help you with a lot clearer, smoother chords. Whenever we find something difficult on guitar, the body's first reaction is to tense up completely. This starts from the head all the way into your shoulders, your arms, and your fingertips. This makes it really hard to play. It makes your playing slow, clunky, and unnatural. Whenever you find yourself making mistakes while you're playing, take a second to breathe. Focus on breathing while you're playing and put a lot of attention towards making sure that both arms from the shoulders all the way down to your fingertips are loose and relaxed, which will make everything flow a lot nicer and smoother. When you're starting out on guitar, a lot of people have the tendency to learn as many chords and riffs and left hand things as possible. But throughout all stages of your guitar career, rhythm and timing is king and it's the most important thing. So especially when you're getting started, learn just a few basic chords and then put most of your energy into working on your timing and rhythm and your strumming hand. I promise if you do this, that you're gonna see faster results and you're gonna be a lot more satisfied with your progress. If you struggle to practice regularly, this one's for you. The single easiest way to play guitar more is just to put your guitar in the place that you spend the most time hanging out. Usually that's in your bedroom or your living room. If you don't have a stand, get one. Put it in the spot that you spend most of your time. Just by seeing it all the time, you're way more likely to pick it up and play, even if it's just for a few minutes. No one wants to put things away and take them out every time. This one's for every single guitarist at all levels. Use your metronome more. The metronome is by far the most useful tool for getting better timing and strumming and developing a natural sense of rhythm. I get it, some people don't find it that interesting to use a metronome, so if you're one of those people that struggles to use it, then Google a drum beat instead at the tempo you're trying to play at and play along to the drum beat. It's gonna be a lot more fun and interesting and do the exact same job as the metronome. If you wanna stop making mistakes when you play guitar, here's a great way to do it. Start by recording yourself playing your song two or three times, and then listen back and note for any points that you keep messing up on. From there, work on these small sections on their own on repeat. Sometimes this is only five or six notes or two or three chords, not an entire verse, not an entire chorus, just this very small section. Repeat that a whole bunch of times, and then I promise once you put it back into the full song, it's gonna sound a lot better. If you want to improve faster on guitar, Memorize your songs as early as possible before you can even play them well. The less time you spend thinking in your head, oh, what note or what chord is coming next? Is it E or D? The more time you can spend actually listening to your playing and focusing on the quality of your playing and just enjoying the music. This is gonna get you sounding a lot better, a lot quicker than being stuck in your head. If you're just starting out on guitar and you're finding it tough to get clear, smooth chords, here's a way to fix this. Make sure you're using your thumb right on the back in the middle of your neck. Not too high, not too low, right in that middle. That's gonna allow you to have a lot more force to press down the chords and get a nice curve to your finger and use those fingertips. Doing this, you can get nice, smooth, clear chords every time. If you've been picking up the guitar, you've probably found that a lot of time when you're playing, you're just kind of playing nothing aimlessly. A few random chords, a few random notes, but it's not really doing anything. So in the end, this playing is kind of useless. Whenever you catch yourself doing this, at the bare minimum, at least try to add some rhythm to it. So instead of just playing a random chord here or there, at the very least, just add in a little bit of rhythm, try and feel the groove and get into the groove. Even if you're just dicking around, don't worry about it. Just add in a little bit of rhythm and then at least your practice will be a little bit productive. Just add in a basic beat and try and get into the groove and it'll make more fun too. If you're trying to get better at guitar, record yourself more. Everybody hates doing it. I know you don't want to hear that, but it's really one of the fastest ways to improve. First, because if you're recording yourself, then while you're playing, you don't have to be all in your head worrying about the notes you're messing up. You can actually just focus and play it and enjoy the music. 
And then once you've recorded it, you can go back and watch. And it's the easiest way to find out what you need to clean up, what you need to work on, what's going well, what's not. And you might be surprised that you actually sound better than you thought. If you've learned all your basic chords and you're trying to make your playing more interesting, a great way to do this is to try out seventh chords. Seventh chords are used a lot in classic rock and blues, so they'll instantly add a little bit of that element to your playing. A great one to start with is A7, E7, and D7. So if you play your A, E, and D, the seventh chords are pretty similar. But they sound really different. You can hear how they've got that bluesy feel to them. So if you're playing that chord progression and then you just swap out any of the chords for the seventh chords, you're instantly gonna go from a more poppy sound to a more classic rock blues kind of sound and instantly just change the style of your playing. So here's A, D to E. Then you switch those out with the seventh chords and you've got this. instantly changing the style you're playing and making you a more versatile guitarist. And there you have it. There's 21 tips that if you use them right now, you can make some instant improvements to your playing and become a better guitarist. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button, say hi in the comments and subscribe to see future videos. If you want a guaranteed way to improve on guitar in the next 14 days, check out my 14 day chord challenge in the link in the description below this video. It's really going to help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.